Hello everyone, Jolene here from Bookworm Adventure Girl. Welcome back. I hope that you are all well. This is where I talk about the books that I'm reading and I like to read diverse books and I highlight Canadian literature. If you are new, thanks so much for checking out my channel. Please hit subscribe and stick around. Today I am going to be talking about a book prize that no one talks about. There's a lot of buzz right now about the Booker and the Giller, but during all that buzz, there are other literary awards too. And the one that I want to talk about and highlight today is the Stephen Leacock Award, or sometimes also referred to as the Stephen Leacock Medal. And it is awarded annually to the book deemed Best Book of Humor published in Canada the previous year. So I'm not sure if there are other literary humor awards. Like do other countries have something similar to this? If they do, please let me know in the comments below because I would love to hear about that. Um, the prize is named after Stephen Leacock, who was born in England and moved to Canada as a young boy. Um, he has connections to Aurelia, Ontario. And that is where the award is celebrated every year. So Lee Cox's humor writing career began in 1910 um, with his first humorous publication called Literary Lapses. I have never read it, um, but he wrote many more humorous books until his death in 1944. And then the Lee Cox Medal began in 1947 and it has evolved over the years. Um, you can go to the website to see the past winners and learn more about its history. I will leave a link to the website below. So in 2015, they began sharing the long list consisting of 10 books and a short list of just three books. Um, the winner this year was announced last weekend. And like the Giller Prize, we see what books are entered. So we are aware of what books are eligible. There's no surprises that way. Um, this year there were 71 entries. They were um, eventually narrowed down to the uh, three books, the three books for the shortlist. And I haven't read any of them, <laughs> but there was um, Jamila Green Ruins Everything by Zarka Nawaz, I think it is. Um, I've heard of her before, because I have her other book, uh, which I forgot to grab, Laughing All the Way to the Mosque, uh, which is her memoir. And it was shortlisted for the Leacock Medal for Humor. And if you are Canadian, um, you may have seen the show Little Mosque on the Prairie. Um, and Zarka Nawaz was the creator of that show. So the other author on the list is Wayne Johnston. And I talked about him when I shared um, some books for Newfoundland in the Reading Across Canada challenge. And I have his novels, The Navigator of New York. And I also have The Colony of Unrequited Dreams. Um, these are both patiently waiting to be read. Um, his novel Jenny's Boy was shortlisted for the Stephen Leacock Award this year. And then the third book on the list is Mindful of Murder by Susan Juby. And I have her novel, The Woefield Poultry Collective, Collective um, which I still need to read. Um, and she's a former Leacock Medal winner with her book, Republic of Dirt. Um, Michael Hill, who is the president of Stephen Leacock Associates, said that the three finalists for the Leacock Medal of Humor in 2023 meet our judging criteria perfectly. He said the books must be humorous, well written, and show a great degree of style and depth. So if that is the case, then I look forward to reading all three of the shortlisted books. The winner this year was Jenny's Boy by Wayne Johnston. So I think I might start there. Other books on the shortlist were Half Bads in White Regalia by Cody Caetano, um, which I have heard of and it's totally on my wish list. Um, Deep House by Thomas King was on the long list too. And Thomas King won the award in 2021 with his book Indians on Vacation. Um, I'm a big fan of Thomas King. 
And then three uh, books from the long list that are on my radar are Best Young Woman Job Book by Emma Healy. This is a memoir and um, I'm, I'm hoping to read it. The Good Women of Safe Harbor by Bobby French. I thought I actually had this book, um, but I couldn't find it. Um, and I Was the President's Mistress by Miguel Saijuko. Um, that has shown up on a couple of lists that I've seen. Um, and then the final two books that I know nothing about, really, are Grin Reaping by Rod Carley and Birds of Maine by Michael DeForge. So here's the thing about this prize. Um, many of these books, even if I've heard of them, I would not necessarily have thought of them as humor books or even considered them for this. So the long lists, the short lists, and the winners are really great if you're looking for books to break up some serious reading, which I tend to do. So now I say this and I don't mean that these books don't have substance or that they won't touch on heavier topics because they often do, but they do it with humor. And if you've been watching my channel for at least a little while, <laughs> you won't be surprised when I tell you that my favorite winner of the Stephen Leacock um, Award, at least so far, is Terry Fallis. Terry Fallis has won the award twice, um, first with Best Laid Plans in 2008, and then again with No Relation in 2015. Um, and one of the many things that I love about Terry Fallis's novels are that they are able to have sad moments and often those moments are propped up next to the humorous moments, and it's done so well. Another author who has won several times, who I really need to read, is Will Ferguson. He won in 2002 for Happiness, in 2005 for Beauty Tips from Moose Jaw, and in 2010 for Beyond Belfast. And the fact that I haven't read any of his books yet is mind-blowing to me because he's been on my shelf forever. I own several of his books. I really need to get to them. Um, plus, submissions for next year, 2024's award, are already coming in. There's 10 of them so far, so that's a list to watch for um, to see what humor books will be considered. Or if you're looking for something maybe a little bit lighter to read, um, I'd definitely be interested if you've heard of the Stephen Lee Cock Awards and if you've read any of these books at all. Um, or even if you have books, um, and they don't have to be Canadian, I know this is Canadian, but um, if you have books that you would put on a list of humor books that you would highly recommend. Um, also, like I said, um, let me know if there are literary prizes like this. Um, what's out there to acknowledge the humor writers of the world? I would love to know. So I look forward to chatting with you in the comments. As always, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and don't forget to make every day an adventure.